Ever since ascending to the throne last September King Charles has expressed his desire to make the royal family smaller and more efficient, as he continues to make his mark on the monarchy. The term working royals refers to members of the family who represent the monarchy at official engagements and carry out royal duties on behalf of the crown, rather than other family members who have paid jobs outside of being royal. It is usually the privilege of certain close relatives and working royals to appear with the king and queen consort on the Buckingham Palace balcony after royal events such as trooping the colour or the coronation. Following Charles and Camilla's coronation in May the royals made the traditional appearance on the balcony, however there were already fewer people than in previous years, partly due to the departure of Prince Harry and Prince Andrew from royal life. As well as the more well-known faces, such as the Waleses and the Edinburghs, older working royals the Duke of Kent, the Duke and Duchess of Gloucester and Princess Alexandra, the Honourable Lady Ogilvy were seen there, yet their advanced ages could mean they will be the first to step down from royal duties if the King decides to press ahead with his plans. Here Express.co.uk takes a closer look at these lesser-known members of the royal family and the decades they have been carrying out the duties. Click here to join our WhatsApp community to be the first to receive news about the royal family The Duke of Kent Prince Edward, the Duke of Kent, is a first cousin of the late Queen Elizabeth II, and will celebrate his 88th birthday later this month. He inherited his title at just six years old after his father Prince George was killed in a plane crash, and he became a working royal after retiring from the military in 1976. Having served as vice chairman of the Overseas Trade Board, and later of British Trade International from 1976 to 2001, the Duke remains a familiar face at Wimbledon, where as president of the All England Lawn Tennis and Croquet Club he presented trophies to the winners for over five decades. Prince Edward still splits his time between his own patronages and working for the king, despite being close to 90 years old. Become an Express Premium member Support fearless journalism Read the Daily Express online. Advert free Get super fast page loading Start 30-day free trial The Duke and Duchess of Gloucester Prince Richard, Duke of Gloucester, 79, another first cousin of the late Queen has been married to Danish-born Birgitta van Ders Henriksen. 77, since 1972. Together they remain full-time working members of the royal family, attending events in the UK and abroad representing the British monarchy. The Duke is associated with over 150 charities and organisations, mostly related to his chief interests of conservation and architecture, while his wife's causes include the Lawn Tennis Association, the Children's Society, the Friends of St. Paul's Cathedral and Parkinson's UK. The Duchess previously said of her philanthropic work, charity work in Great Britain is a tradition. I don't think I have a friend who has not involved him or herself somehow or other. How far back this tradition goes, I am not sure it is one of the major aspects which makes me very proud to be British. Princess Alexandra Princess Alexandra the Honourable Lady Ogilvy, will mark her 87th birthday on Christmas Day this year, nevertheless she has kept up with her royal duties for many years. Another cousin of the late Queen's, the Princess is patron or president of a number of varied organisations, including Cancer Research UK, the Florence Nightingale Foundation and the Alzheimer's Society. Her interest in championing healthcare comes from her time training as a nurse at Great Ormond Street Hospital in the 1950s, although she ultimately did not pursue a career in the field. Similarly to King Charles she has a great interest in classical music and the military, and served as Chancellor of the University of Lancaster from 1964 to 2004.